So what happened yesterday, I dived into my old uh, writings, which I started uh, back in 2010. It all was like, um, the main idea was I was writing um, as if I was writing letters to a man I didn't meet. So it was the whole idea. I was writing letters to the man I didn't know, I didn't meet yet, and it all turned into the journal. And journals are not a big deal for me because um, back in 2002, when I only started journals, I got just huge like tons of them. It was like this, uh, that much of, if I put one uh, on another, I would have that much of them, journals. Just whole packet with <laughs> with my life uh, since 2002 and until 2006. But actually that, those journals I cut with scissors. So then I, um, and all I have now is that uh, journal that I was uh, writing as if it was a letter to the man, which I started in November 2010. And so that's where I dived yesterday. And I got uh, writing since uh, November 2010. That's when I stopped uh, lying to myself and stopped my old lifestyle. And that's where my journey to myself continued in a really intense way. But um, I, I had those uh, writings uh, till 2013, I guess, or 2014. And then I stopped because a lot of uh, synchronicity started to occur so much that I wouldn't be able to write them all down and a lot of interesting events and like, internal, external. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't just write it all down because too much was going on, so I stopped. <laughs> so that's where I dived yesterday at night, and I dived there and I found um, interesting things. Uh, well, what I want to say is that I really understood it all before. I just understood it all before. It's not like I didn't know something, and now I started to you know, uh, started to recognize. Now, actually, I knew it all. It all was in me, and it's just I got more of the programming back then, and that's what I see in those writings. But the core was always there, and it, it all goes for all of us. And also, I found there this thing that, for example, I wrote something, I felt, yeah, it's like, yeah, I feel close to this, but then I wanted to send it to someone so this person could, uh, you know, uh, could say yes, yes, you're right, you're right, so now live your life and be calm because you're exactly, you're right. So I, I needed a proof that I'm right. That's because I still didn't have center in myself. And what I've noticed, like uh, reading those uh, uh, things and just observing my situations right now is that <laughs> we as great, um, well, let's say, I'm the one who who just creates dresses. I forgot how this profession is called in English, but that's basically someone who who's like a cochinel, I guess, who just creates not fashion but just dresses. So that's who we are. We are geniuses in that, but we know that our true nature is nakedness. So that's how it all goes here. We create for ourselves very interesting situations. So interesting that <laughs> we're going to have, for example, what, what I've realized, I have two possible ways of uh, choosing. I can choose suffering, I can choose freedom. Situation is perfectly done. So it's like a perfect dress that suits me perfectly, but it suits perfectly to my old patterns of thinking, not to my new ones. And if I really want to choose freedom, I have to choose nakedness. And the situation is perfectly created, and uh, all the details, all, all the synchronicities, all the signs are right there. So it's just I can either choose suffering because everything is created for that, or I can choose freedom because everything is created for that as well, which is really interesting. That's, that's what I've realized, how we create the situations and for ourselves and how, how we can choose either way. And it's just, <laughs> it's fascinating. And so I'm applauding this, you know, spirit in me who creates it all. But of course, uh, 
And which is interesting, this dress, so like uh, continue the metaphor of this dress that we, that we create for ourselves, it's, it's you know, it's, it's so suitable that it's, it's just, it calls um, for us to wear it. This dress just calls for me to wear it because it's just, it looks so perfectly fine for me, but I know exactly that it's not what I want for now because it's not where I am now because already I'm changed. I call it also um, quantum jump. It's not only I call like this. That, that would happen when you find yourself in an old circumstance that you feel are tight for you and you really feel uncomfortable. So what you can do, you can try to change the circumstance by going somewhere else or you can just uh, widen your perspective that much, widen your consciousness that much, expand it that you're going to see another picture. That's what I've done. And I, I tried uh, escape creation before. It didn't work for me. <laughs> and what literally happened back then, I created the exact same thing in a new situation, in a new city, uh, around new people, but the exact same situation. So, um, so I've realized that it doesn't work this way. So uh, quantum jump, that's, that's the, you know, the solution. It's when you start to accept your own gifts to yourself as a um, gift from the spirit to the body, to the personality, because uh, it's not a sudden thing that we created for ourselves. It's not a sudden thing that we have chosen these families, these circles uh, of, you know, connections, these uh, circumstances. And so uh, it's not a sudden thing. And so we can uh, either try to reject our own gift to ourselves or accept it and realize a lot, a lot, a lot. That's what actually happened because back in 2010, when I, before my uh, transformation process, I actually was trying to escape. Even in this circumstance, I was trying to escape. And I just, I felt all the time that this inner calling, I felt that something was completely wrong. I had a lot of consequences. I had a lot of pains, both physical and mental and emotional as well. And I had a lot of, uh, weirdness in me and I couldn't be around myself. I was going to a cafe with uh, my pal and then I came back and I felt this loneliness and void and this um, emptiness at home. So I couldn't stay my, stand myself. I couldn't stand nighttime because I, I, I didn't know what's there in my subconscious mind. And I had a lot of weirdness going on and I had a lot of programs. I had a lot of, oh, that's beautiful. That's uh, <laughs> uh, twilight and really beautiful. Oh my goodness, the sky is beautifully pink. So I had a lot of uh, consequences like that and I couldn't, you know, solve it all just by changing the place because that's me who I'm taking with myself. So in that uh, journal that was like letters to a man that I never met, actually is all I have from that period. I cut all of my pictures, almost all of them, from a lot of, from childhood, from, you know, from a lot of periods. I almost have nothing, like no personal history except for this one. And I really am not attached to the objects from the past, but I'm having it all right now. So that's another, another story. Uh, recently, I've been listening to video clips of uh, certain bands and I took Russian bands. And so I was listening to them uh, and I got tingles just because of my new uh, perception, because of my new expanded consciousness. I treasure so much my personal path that it all just becomes almost, uh, you know, it's like, it's sacred at some point. It's sacred because I just feel all just, ah, oh, there was just, I, I got tingles, the shivers up and down my spine and just the pleasure of realizing that, yes, it's, I'm living it. It's just so cool. And this leads me to another thing. I really wanted to, and I still want and I still do it. I mean, uh, when you find this uh, source inside of you, you really want to share to spread the message to remind those who didn't that they also have it. And there is a whole another story because I found out that there are extremes here and uh, it's all about respect of another person's way. The same goes for giving advices when no one asks for them. It's like good intentions stand behind it. You want to help or you want just to remind something. But, you know, if another side actually didn't request it, didn't ask for it, you know, it's, it's not 
it's not something that oh it's a little butterfly <laughs> it's not something that can be accepted rightly uh, of course there, there are exceptions because um, I know a lot of creatures who actually really enjoy when I share just spontaneously they understand it and that's actually who I am but I just uh, decided to to look at it closely and I found really interesting things so it all is about respect of our own unique ways. We are wherever we, we are the one, and in light of our oneness, we still have unique paths as personalities, unique features, unique uh, you know baggage of past lives, unique everything, unique settings, unique perceptions. We have to un we have to respect that, and in interactions, just to remember that and. Uh, not try to prove something, not try to, you know, show something, just, you know, uh, be all, like, share our unique path w and without, without um, any attempt of this person to see that, what you see as well, if that's a perfect moment for that, or that if that creature really needs that, or wants that, that creature is going to accept that, but it's, uh, it's all about understanding that Source is inside of us, so I don't have to worry that oh someone is still not there. When it's time, they're going to be there. That's what I have to understand, and I have to um, um, to have you know to separate my wish to remind of something and this feeling of um, like oh I see you in pain. I just want to help. So I I have to stop seeing the creature stuck in their own circumstance because. Their own circumstance is the exact same dress I was talking about. They are also geniuses who created dresses for themselves. And they also can choose freedom or something else or suffering. So I don't have to um, you know, worry about that because uh, we all have the same geniuses inside of us. <laughs> Alright, so that's mixed... Uh, mixed uh, mixed package of... Uh, understandings and it's just it's just you know taken out spontaneously out oh, there's a butterfly it all is just taken spontaneously out of my so-called casual life so all right um and loving and loving but just knowing yourself is just ah oh, it's amazing it's just it's precious. It's, it's so cool. Our perceptions, our uniqueness is amazing. We all are different. We all are beautiful. And it's okay. It's exactly the way it should be. We don't have to find... I don't have to look for another copy of mine to have understanding. You know, that's another thing. Um, all right. <laughs>